Hello boys and girls, we're now going to look at um, inserting these uh, names inside this box here. Um, so to do that, we're going to use what's known as an app div. So we put this down, put this down, and come back to Dreamweaver, here we go. And we're going to go to insert, we're going to go down to layout objects. There it is, just being a bit blind there. And we're going to go to app div. And it's going to flow over here for now, but we're going to just drag it across. And I'm going to put it back here, and you'll see why in a moment. We're going to drag this across over, and you might think this is a bit ridiculous. Um, why would I want it over this? But you'll see why in a moment. And we're going to simply just cut, cut this here and just paste it in. We're going to highlight this. Go down here, make sure it's white, and select it, because if you look at the exam paper, it says they want it to have a H4 tag. So we've done this first part here. The consistency is not there yet, you know, with the, the presentation, but we're going to sort that in a second. But we need to have this H4 tag in there. So we're going to go back in here, and best way to, or the easiest way to change that, ta uh, change that tag uh, is to select it as I have just done here, yeah, so you can either double click it, so we triple click it, or just go over it. Then you go to code over here, and then you'll see it's been highlighted here. And you simply just put bracket H4 bracket in front of the text, and then at the end, here before the div ends, brackets close, and it automatically recognizes that you want to close that h4 tag because you started it here then if you go back to design you'll see that the format is now correct now yes it doesn't look like i've done this right you know it doesn't look um presentable since the text is going over this but when you save this we need to look at it how, uh, at the preview itself and you can see how it actually fits in perfectly there now i could move this a little bit more to the right but I'm quite happy with that. The main thing is that this is found near the top of this before, uh, without touching the actual vinyl itself, this uh, disc. So, now I need the same thing for the second record and the third record. Now, the simplest way really is to copy, paste, drag it down. So what I did was Control C and then Control V, drag it down. Let's do that again. Okay, maybe I didn't press it properly. Control C, Control V. For some reason, not working. Let's try this this way. Okay, doesn't seem to work. Um, did work in my little tests. Uh, for whatever reason, if your software is playing up, you can just add another one to be fair so insert and go down to layout layout objects app div same thing drag it across over here I would have liked to copy and paste it uh, purely because then I could have kept the same style same text uh, and just save some time really but it's not the end of the world you can just follow the same process cut this across paste it in select it I'm gonna make it white and the same thing, go to code, while I select it, go in front of it here, uh, brackets open, H4, brackets close, here before the div, brackets open, and then close, H4 is fine, go back to design, you'll see the code is fine. Let's test it again, make sure it's actually correct, that it looks right on the preview. Maybe I didn't save it. There we go. Give it a second. Just taking a bit of time to save. And I'm going to refresh it. And there you go. You can see the second one here now. And now I'm going to do the third one um, for the third record, just in, in the exact same manner. So I'm going to put this all down and go to insert, uh, layout objects, app div, drag this down. Let's make this the same width as the other two. That will do there. And 
Make a start about here. Push this down as well. Yep, that'll do. And then we're going to cut this. Paste. Oh, it's copied the font for some reason. If it doesn't, it's fine. You can just go down here and change the font. And again, don't forget the H tag. It hasn't done this time for me because I forgot to put the number four in here. There we go. And design. Okay, so they're all the same consistency now. I can get rid of the space here at the top of each um, section, but I'm going to push this down just because I want these to be aligned with each area of text. Um, delete that space make some space over this side and I might need to yes yeah, so let's save that and see how it looks okay yeah that's a, that's 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 perfect so you've got the record one record two record three each time so next to the image this is clearly to this one here this one's clearly with this one this one's clearly with that one okay and that's how you insert text using, using Aptives. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how we are going to convert MP3 files and then place them into this box.